more and more every time we do a, a different presentation. More than that. You hear? Yeah. All right. So I'm the founder of Inigo. Uh, Inigo is a uh, way to collect contact information from the people you meet 100% of the time. And the difference is when you trade a paper card, you're not collecting the information back from the people you meet. Uh, and then what Inigo does and what we specialize in is that we collect that contact information through a centralized database and we can increase sales up to 2.5%. Uh, we've been featured in Nashville. Uh, we have, um, we've been the number one app for the American Digital Business Card. Uh, we were a top 20 app on Android in 2015. Uh, we won CFO Innovation Nights. Um, we were also in Foster League, in Pose, Fossil Globe. Uh, we've been at this now for about three years. Uh, so here's just some quick statistics about Inigo. Uh, we've grown 264% from a download rate in the last three years. Um, our, we have 200,000 downloads at this point. We have over a million cards interacted with. Uh, we got 1,000 premium users. Uh, so the big question, everyone's here trying to solve the problem. And our problem is, can you follow up with people that you meet, whether it's at an event, at a social network gathering, but can you follow up to them, can you follow up with them when you give them your business card? And so what happens a lot is people give out a business card and the people you meet don't have one. Or they say, connect me on LinkedIn. Well, if the name's Jim Smith, how are you gonna ever find them on, on LinkedIn? And then 88% of those business cards are known to be thrown away in the first week. So even though you're giving out your information, you're not always collecting the information back. And that's the point of a salesman. You're supposed to hit your target, you're supposed to hit your numbers. You're supposed to get to your goal and you're missing those targets because a lot of your contact information is not coming into you, it's not coming into your company. So, I mean, what's the solution, right? And this is where an ego comes in, and this is where we specialize. We start off with the front end, which is a digital business card app. It's for free, you can download right now, you can start using your digital business card. Uh, and then we have the back office. The back office is where you manage your team, or we have a partner program too, and I'll get into those in a second. But the first and foremost is the digital business card. It's a beautiful card, over hundreds, uh, hundreds of thousands of people have now downloaded and used the app. And we have some great stories. The guy in the middle here, Joe Davis, He's now, um, he has 100 ratings on Deal Review, which is a, he's a car consultant, and he's using Ego in six months. He's now the number one kid sales guy in his company, just from using Ego. We have uh, Sam Park, who got a job. Every day he woke up and put his Twitter card on, put his Ego card on Twitter. After about six months, he landed a job with a social marketing company. So we have some great users and some great use cases. And we think that the use case is that a lot of people are seeing the benefit. When you share your card, it's so much easier to click on it. You're giving them a way, an easier way to find you, an easier way to interact with you, and you're choosing how you're doing that. So, basically, what you do, you can add any social networks. You can put Facebook, Twitter, you know, LinkedIn, your contact information. You can put resumes, pictures, anything you can imagine on a digital business card. It's so much different than paper, right? You can design the background, and this time, when you give out the card, you give them a text message or an email and they are clicking on that link, and they are gathering information about you at the same time that you collected that information from them, right? Because you ask them, hey, what's your phone number? What's your email address? What's your Twitter account? And then that information that's coming back to you, you are guaranteed to follow up with that person, right? You're collecting something from them, and you can follow up with them every single time. And then since you're using a digital card, you have analytics. You can see when that card is viewed, how many times it's viewed. So if you're a sales guy and you're out and meet 100 people, and then you want to see, all right, which person's actually interested in me? You go back to your analytics and you try to find out, all right, this person looked at my card four times, and then the fifth time there, he looked at it you know, eight days later. He's still interested, he's still thinking about me, therefore that's a good person to follow up with. And so I'm gonna show you now what an ego team is. I have to switch over. <laughs> so an ego team is the back office uh, digital business cards, and I get 60 seconds, so I'll just show you what happens when you log in. And uh, there's three parts of this, right? You have a business, like IBM, you have a bunch of departments, and you want to manage your business cards on the back office so that those people aren't printing cards every time they switch their name, or oh, not switch their name, switch their business, uh, switch a picture, or IBM changes their logo. You have to reprint those cards. With an ego, you go into the back office, you update the template, and you send it to every single employee that works for you. You can do it as large as IBM or as small as a startup company. And then we have a partnership program where you can brand every single business card that gets downloaded through your partner program. So let's say you're a, a website that offers a bunch of software platforms. This could be one of your software platforms and you can ensure that every single time your customers share a business card, that your information and your links and your uh, media is getting hashtag at the bottom so people can link back to you. 
So those are the two things. Yeah, I am up. So it's question and answer time. Yes. How easy is it for your app to keep data in Salesforce.com, for example? Yeah, so we've had uh, three, three phases of our startup uh, for three years. Uh, the first one was Android, then iPhone, then the New York team. Uh, and in, as part of the New York team, we've just released it uh, three weeks ago, which starts funneling people into the aspect of sharing data. And the export of that is going to be to export to a CRM database. So when you meet somebody, if I met you at this event, I could then, as soon as I meet you, it would get uploaded to not only the team aspect of this, but directly to Salesforce. So if you're sitting at your desk, you know, back in your home office, and you're a manager of all your sales guys, you would see that in team, you met somebody at an event, and then back, you know, in Salesforce, that person gets created as a contact in Salesforce. So it's part of their thing here, there's an export button. Yes, sir? Not very intriguing, but what's very clear uh, initially is, what if the other person doesn't have an ego? So you're saying when you collect, you actually have to ask them for the phone number, the email, yep. or whatever, so, so you're basically popping their stuff easily. It's a good question, and I have five minutes, so I try to figure out which parts to say. But uh, the idea of our business model stemmed from the idea that the other person does not have to have the app. And that's the whole goal. I send you a card, you don't have to download anything, you don't have to know about an ego, I just send you a link. You click on that link, and you see my card. You can then choose what to do with that card. You can click on the bottom where it says add, con add contact book, and it'll add it to your iPhone contact book. You can click connect with me on Twitter, and you go to my Twitter account. So you then choose, based on what I choose to put on my cards, you choose how to connect with me. Yeah, my point was, what if you're interested in their contact info, and they say, no, no, I don't have one. I'm putting them on the spot. Well, there's no need. I, I would just ask you, sir, what's your phone number? What's your email address? You would give that to me, and then I type it in, and then I send you my card based on the information you gave me. Is that right? Yes, sir? Oh, what is the URL look like? Uh, so we have a long URL right now because we have the analytics tied to it. Uh, so when we started off, we wanted to make sure that, well, there's two reasons we have a long URL. First is there's analytics, so that you can see who views it. But second, you're, you might be private, and you don't want your card shared with Google, so we actually don't allow the spiders to crawl these links. So it's a secure URL. It's a pretty long URL. Our goal is to shorten that in the, in the next few months. Thank you. You're welcome. So how do you make money? Uh, so in your team is the platform that was released three weeks ago and the payment system included in it. It's five dollars per user per month. And the idea is that if you're a larger company, you would sign up your employees and you would manage your business card from one access point and you would sign up, you know, let's say you have 10 to 15 employees and you would design one business card and share it to your 15 employees. So if you were the manager, you simply design the card how you want it to be and you hit send. And instead of sending it to Mr. Print, having them print it, waiting two weeks, you just send it right to their phone. They get an email that says, you have a new digital business card to share. Now that person can update and add their contact information on the bottom of the website. So let's say your company has your website, your Facebook website, I can then add my own contact information underneath that. So that's the payment plan. And then we have the partner program, which allows a company to brand the entire card and send that to a customer to start them off. But on the bottom of the card, it's always linked back to that company. So those are two ways. We release that three weeks. Yes, sir. At an event like Boston New Tech, a lot of us wear a bunch of different hats. The yes. day job, the startup we're working on, the other startup we're working yes. on. Yes. Uh, does Inigo have support for multiple cards per person? Or yes. whatnot? That's a great question. Uh, you can add unlimited cards. We have a guy that, this is no joke, every time he meets somebody, or every time he has a different inventory for a house, he creates a business card for that house. And then he shares that card with everybody he meets that's interested in that house. He has over like 600 cards. <laughs> and he does a really good job carrying that data and he's really managing his stuff. So a lot of time, if you can create unlimited cards, you can be, have different hats, you can put different networks on those different cards. So if you don't want somebody to see your Facebook and you're at this event, you just share a different card that has a different social media element to it. Yes, sir? What's the, uh, the premium and the free version? What, yes. what does a premium give you? So on Android app right now, you can download the free app, uh, and you get all the features for free for the first 30 days. And then the premium aspect of it, uh, it just unlocks the ability to change the, um, to change the background, and uh, you can also scan more business cards. So if somebody gives you a paper business card, you can take a picture of that card and convert it to an Indigo card. It allows you to do that, and it also allows you to change a greeting message. So if I send a business card to somebody that I meet through a phone number, I don't just want to send you a link. I want to say, hi, my name is Andrew, I work for an ego. Here's my link, click on this, it's a card, it's safe. 
uh, and then I would sign it at the bottom. So that greeting message, you can customize per card under the premium service rather than just the free service. And the premium for individual is what? Uh, it's $12 a year. Uh, it's not what we, right now we charge $9.99 on the App Store. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.